today I'm not in Delft. I'm in Gouda. I'm meeting with Elko Rusterberg, with whom I wrote The Power of Scrum Book. And I'm thinking what he's doing nowadays. So, well, let's have a chat with him. Elko, you just gave an inspirational talk about play in the office environment. Um, I, I found it really inspiring, especially when you talked about your son. Maybe you can repeat that in a, in a, in a short way. Yes, um, uh, my son taught me that when he is playing, he is fully focused, fully committed, uh, creative and stress-free. And these are attributes that I would love to see in every team that I run or am part of. Okay, and, and do you think it's possible at the work uh, floor to, to play all the time? Uh, I have actually some proof myself that, uh, that it does. We've, uh, we've had, I've been with a team that has done this kind of a thing for three months, so with a purpose, start doing playful things rather than start doing work. And we achieved more than, than any team could do in that amount of time. We, we basically did the work for a year, of a year in three months. Work of years, three months. Yes. Can, can you give an example then? That's something that you would normally do seriously and yes. then you made to play we from that? Uh, yeah, uh, um, uh, we had to do process descriptions. So process description for the whole company to go agile and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's boring with flow charts yes. and... So everyone was like, oh. And then we decided to say, let's not do process descriptions. Let's make a cartoon. Mm -hmm. And people started talking about it. We started creating it. We had fun with it. We started to play with the ideas and uh, we just put gimmicks in there and funny things like product owners not wanting to be in or left out or whatever and it just created this massive speed and quality and fun and everything at the same time we we're fully focused creating this stuff and it was done and we we're looking at it and, and actually the team says well what we need to start doing something and I said well let's let's take a look at what we just did this is amazing so it's uh, it's it's proving me uh, the same thing that I had in my childhood as a kid, uh, you know, building a, a cabin, cabin house or something, like an underground cabin. Uh, you move a lot of sand and it never feels like work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the point. And how will you take this further? What are your next steps, next plans uh, re regarding to this uh, topic? Uh, it's a lot of testing, it's, uh, because that's actually research is in. Uh, I am in the process of starting to write a book. And uh, I'm looking for ways to uh, to innovate the playfulness at work. Okay. Oh, well, maybe it's a good inspiration. I think maybe we could also this boring set of interviews that we do in these vlogs could make some play out of that as well. Maybe wear some costumes. <laughs> have costumes. To, let's let's think about it later. Thanks, man. Well, in the agile world, there's a lot of talk about gamification, fun at work, game at the work office. Of course I understand it, but it was always difficult to, to really make sure what it means and, and how to do this really. Well, I've learned something from Elko and I've learned how to do it, he gave some examples. But the one thing that I will definitely remember is what he said about his son. When he's watching his son play, his son is focused, he's creative, he has no stress, and, and he's not distracted. And if that's the core of gamification, that's the core of play, that's something we could really use in the workforce because who wouldn't want their employees when they work on the challenging tasks to have no stress, to be focused, to be creative. So I think even when we work with Scrum or when we work with Agile in other contexts, it makes sense to focus on this gamification and play. After all, if play is fun, then also work gets fun. This video blog is sponsored by ProAwareness. And uh, Frans, have you taped it? Uh, Frans, have you, have you taped it? Taped what? It's the end of the film. You have to tape, you have to say, it's a wrap. Oh, should, was I supposed to film? Yeah, what were you doing then? Gaming, just like you said, man. Gaming at work. <laughs>